can I help you? Hi, I'm here for my appointment with the Gender Identity Clinic. Yeah, of course, that's fine. If you want to go through the doors behind you, go down the stairs and have a seat in the waiting area. Thanks. I'm so glad that my first appointment is finally here. I'm terrified, but at the same time excited. Looking back, this has been quite a long wait. I remember the moment I gathered the courage to visit my GP and asked to be referred to the Gender Identity Clinic. I knew going on the waiting list meant it would take months before I was seen, but the moment I received my letter, I was over the moon. I started to do my own research into the services and treatments the clinic could offer. I learned what is and what isn't available on the NHS, and more about fertility preservation. It is good to think ahead. There were times I began to feel quite lonely and really wanted to reach out to someone that had experienced what I was about to. So through local support services, I found a trans woman group. Finally, people like me. The first meeting was so heartwarming. I gained advice from people who had gone through the transitioning process and people who had had their first appointment. Someone suggested that I write everything down that I wanted to say in the meeting, including my life history, so that I can have something to hand in case I got nervous. Thanks to the group, I feel supported and more prepared for my first appointment. Okay. Deep breaths. Here we go. First appointment done. I've never been so scared in my life, but I feel like a massive weight has been lifted off my shoulders. The moment I went in, I didn't know what to fully expect. It felt like finally beginning my journey to become who I really am. Not that I need validation, but I was worried that the staff would judge me or not believe me. So I asked my friend to come along. Leading up to the appointment, I was worried about what I could wear. So I phoned the clinic to ask. They reassured me that I can wear whatever I'm comfortable in. When we went in, they sat us down and I talked about why I felt I was non-binary. They listened. It was one of the most open conversations I've had. I even used drawings to explain some of my feelings, which they thought was brilliant and encouraged me to bring in any material that helps me express myself. When I asked them what the next steps were, they explained everyone's journey is different, whether that's knowing exactly what you would like to do or if you need a few more appointments just to talk. I feel so much more comfortable, more myself, and I'm ready for my next meeting. I can't believe I'm already a few appointments in. What a journey it's been. I remember my first appointment at the clinic. I was so ready, but I had no idea what to expect. My family researched a lot before my first appointment, gaining the knowledge they needed to be able to support me. I kept them reassured while I focused on learning everything I could about the clinic. My first appointment, they were so welcoming. I explained that I was assigned female at birth, but I identify as a man. I talked about my past and what I'd like to change about my body. They listened to all of the questions I had and explained any jargon terms that I didn't understand. I was nervous walking into my second appointment as I decided I wanted to know more about hormones, but as they had all my records on hand, together we could probably understand my options. They helped me create a plan as I wasn't sure about what other areas of my body I could focus on first or what changes would happen. I felt I made the right decision. Right now, I'm in a good place. I feel more comfortable in my body and I attend a support group every month. I may decide to take further steps and transition, but there's no rush for me. The Gender Identity Clinic has been a great support.